and we do workshops and we're following up after the workshop and we're sending President Obama in a professional package, in a professional manner, what black people are thinking about him and where he's moving black America, we have a voice because Obama didn't take the black vote for granted. He wouldn't be that. That He's not that. He's very intelligent. Mm -hmm. But he want us now to talk to him. But talk to him in a way that he, he re, that we respect all the rest of these white presidents that came before him. Right. So this was our way of talking to our brother. And we're going to do another one in October in New York. We're organizing. Mm -hmm. We're organizing the forces in education and health and economics. Brother Mike Roberts, who I told you uh, got the trumpet award for businessman of you're a billionaire. Mm -hmm. He ran the economic workshop and he brought in friends of his that are giants. We had people from uh, Philadelphia International Records on and on. Sister and Jerry of Encobo to talk about reparations. We can go on and on and on. And I see a sign saying two <laughs> minutes, so we better go on and on and on real fast. But over over 2,000 people participated in the workshops. And Brother Tim Reed, who owned Millennium Studios out in Virginia, will be taking all the 20 workshops and taking all the keynote speakers and putting this package into a package this week that we will send these DVDs to Africa, to Brazil, to Cuba, to China, to uh, Bahamas. We're going to send it all over the world. So we as black people got to take ourselves serious and take control of our destiny. And that's what these Black Power Conference is about because people are afraid, brother, to leave, to use the word black power. Mm -hmm. But when Jane Brown threw it up and said, I'm black and I'm proud, people start walking different. People start right. bathing different, you know. And Dr. Uh, Khalid Mansour helped write that song in Oakland oh, with wow. Huey P. Newton. And a group wow. at Berkeley wrote that song. Dr. Khalid al Mansour, who's on this fly, mm -hmm. was Dr. Uh, James Brown. He is a doctor. Mm -hmm. Attorney. And that one song saying I'm black and I'm proud had the same effect in 1960-some when Mikasa Rick and Stokely Carmichael was king in Mississippi and threw up black power. And King had to define black power. And anybody who's fair in this country who always say we're the first in prison, we're the first hired, I mean the last hired and first, first fired, hired. we're not taking care of our kids, mm -hmm. we don't care about our communities, they should be the first to embrace black us power. talking about empowering ourselves exactly. for we won't be their problem no more <laughs> exactly so leave us alone <laughs> and let us organize our people and let us get from this world in this i mean world we don't talk united states we talk 54 nations in africa we talk brazil we talk because we are the majority on earth exactly let us bring our forces and people together for we won't be your burden no more that's all we saying <laughs> but there ain't no money in that <laughs> and they're coming no, in sir. But there you have it. There you have it. W-A-E-N dot TV. Brother Hashim Nzinga. Black Power. Black Second Power. in Chief. Black the new Power. Black Free Dr. New... Malachi York. Exactly. Exactly. Free Pops. Free Brother Jamil Amin. We <laughs> care about our political president. Who you exactly. kidding out? We're working hard. We, uh, we didn't get to get into all that, but we'll get into it next time. Next I'll time, be black. Time. I will be black. <laughs> and we better have you. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. There you have it. W-A-E-N dot TV. Brother Hashim Nzinga. Talib, peace. Thank you, bro. Evil genius. Wait.